Me did the yan yan techua, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp tap tap send. Ain't ye ne? Also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Never see Cacom where Busia for Wagana for Nenina. Tap tap send. Papa no no. Once again, the editorial is here on Summit Flex TV. And when I sit like this, we go deep into the stories. We try to bring everything that you have missed in our space. That is what we provide for you here on Summit Flex TV. My name is Summit Flex, and I'm saying special thank you to my production team, Digital Rasta. It's called Currency, who is on camera, aka the birthday boy, as well as Richie Flex, who is the editor and director of the show. And when we sit like this, we talk about the real issues in our showbiz space. Thanks for being a part of this. I'm so happy that you are always here. Subscribe to Sammy Flex TV if you've not done that. And to those who have done that, we appreciate you. God bless you. Keep calling more people to be part of the family because this is the base, the home of proper showbiz information and even more. You can also follow me on social, Sammy Bar Flex on Instagram, verified, Sammy Bar Flex, Twitter, verified, and Samuel Atubi Bar on Facebook. Facebook also verified. Link up and let's share other ideas. Meanwhile, on Facebook, our official Summit Flex TV page on Facebook is also there. Follow the page and get all the snippets of entertainment news that we put there for your usage. Now, what am I talking about today? I'm talking about some guys who are put together or who have come together to call themselves lookalikes of some celebrities. And in our industry, I think in recent times, we have seen the growth of that space where we have seen a kiddie lookalike. I'm sure my director will be sharing some of these things with you. We have seen a kiddie lookalike. We have seen a Kwame Eugene lookalike. We have seen a Kin Promise lookalike. We have seen, um, help me with the name, Mr. Drew lookalike. We have seen a medical lookalike. And when you see them, sometimes they make you laugh. At the same time, they make you angry. Because, like, you, you don't know whether to encourage them or to discourage them. But to those who have been following this platform, I'm sure they would know that we have always discouraged that act. Because... We know that some of these things, because of where we live, because of the people who are in this country, sometimes their level of knowledge, level of exposure, we are scared that if some of these things are not taken care of, one day wake up and a certain man and a woman will be chasing an artist that this artist has impregnated our daughter. Before you know, it is a guy who is doing, we didn't come here to play. Who had gone somewhere to present himself as what? A Kwame Eugene. And someone who is very weak at the top will fall for it. Open up. Panya, 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 panya. The next day, someone's daughter is pregnant. Unfortunately, this lady would not say anywhere that it was a doppelganger or a lookalike. This lady might say, oh, I am having something to do with Kwame Eugene, which might not be the case. So to some of us, we have been discouraging it from source. From day one, we've been discouraging it. Maybe you've not seen some of them. My producer has a video where he wants to show some of these guys to you. Just get to know them. And when I come back, 
I'll be addressing an issue that has popped up in recent times and a tweet from Sarkodie. The tweet though Sarkodie added that it is a joke. But to some people in the industry, including myself, I see it as more or less like um, an endorsement. I see it like more or less like a certification for them that, oh, Sarkodie even posted us. I see it like a validation for these guys. And I'll be telling you more how some of these things work, especially in the online space. Sometimes in our bid to even condemn some things, the way we approach them, we end up rather promoting them instead of condemning them. Watch these guys. When I come back, I give you a brief analysis of it, then we run away. Hey, still African ammo, medical. Gang, 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 Hey, it's a view. Hey, Ken, Ken promise. Yeah. Five stars the world. It's Mr. Drew, where? We didn't come here to play Africa number one. Okay, so you saw them. You saw how they look. They are trying so hard to look like the stars that they are saying they want to look like. So you saw that Kwame Eugene guy, and that guy, hey, rushing. That guy, if in reality he becomes a star, eh, nobody can stand him. Because, like, he has been able to copy even the Russian abilities of Kwame Eugene. When Kwame Eugene is slimming, he has a way of slimming too. When Kwame Eugene is begging, he has a way of begging too. When Kwame Eugene changes his style, he has a way of changing his, his hairstyle as well. And he has tried hard to even speak like the way Kwame Eugene speaks. And it's so interesting. We are watching them. Double gangers. Not long ago, one of my panel members, Kobe Josman, was telling me that elsewhere, it is a big business. A big business where people come together, project some people like that, and do one or two with them. But in Ghana, it is not yet a business. In Ghana, it is just some few people who have come together, put themselves together, and forming to be what they are not. And that is the worry of Sammy Flex today in the editorial. Now, let me tell you why Sarkodie's post, though in a joke manner, is more or less giving them a validation. Let me tell you why. Okay, so first of all, what did Sarkodie even post in the first place? Um, let's handle that before I tell you that. Then we can run away. It is going to be a brief one. So on Twitter, Sarkodie tweeted that there is always a way out. Called some of my superstars to pull up for the Jams World Tour. They gave me mad attitude plus ridiculous fees. So, da 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 da. And he brought the prayer emoji. And he brought in the hashtag jokes. Of course, we know he's not serious like that. But all he's saying is that he's having his um, world tour starting from um, Europe. I think next month or something like that. He's playing some close shows one day after that. Um, Richie Flex, please show them the flyer which contains the world tour date. So those who are in Europe, they can be part of these shows. And again, let me also use this opportunity to quickly say that if you're a Ghanaian and any of our stars come abroad, please spend some 50 euros, 50 pounds to attend some of these shows. We beg you. It has been the cry of many of our top stars. Sarkodie talked about it. Recently, Stoneboy also talked about it. So please, as you have the date on the screen, I'm also begging you, adding my small note to it, that please... Attend these shows for us. We know how you guys do it. You can buy tickets in advance online. Buy the tickets. Attend these shows for us. Let's support our people so that they can also feel uh, the tutorials like the rest of the guys are doing. So, in this world tour, Sarkodie is painting a picture that, oh, he's calling some of his people to come and support him. Because the flyer said, uh, supporting artists are yet to be announced. So, obviously, he's now in negotiations, talking to those who will be available to come support him. And in this tweet, he's joking that when he caught some of them, some of them are giving him mad attitude, plus they are calling for ridiculous charges. So, if they are going to call ridiculous charges, then do you know his next option? His next option is the guys there, or his next option are the guys there. That is the doppelgangers or the look-alikes or the fake guys. That is going to be his next option. And Sarkode added a picture of these guys in there. I think it was a video rather. Okay. Maybe he added a video or a screenshot of the guys in there. 
Now, I sit here and I'm asking that. Is this a validation for them? More or less, it is. Because these guys, what they are looking for is platform to shine. They are looking for platforms to extend their popularity. They are looking for platforms to extend their fame. They want people to know them. They want people to know that, yeah, we are the ish. We are the doppelgangers. We are the fake guys and we are here. And what platform would you get like Sarkode's platform? Sarkode is huge on all the social media platforms. Let me even check his following on Twitter. Then you know what these guys have enjoyed for free. They have enjoyed for free. A hype free. Sarkode at the moment has 5.8 million followers on Twitter. 5.8 million followers on Twitter. Interestingly, he has 5.8 followers on Twitter. So what it means is that what he did for these guys, they're also going to enjoy his numbers of 5.8 million followers. Even if half of them sees this, they also get that additional mileage. It is the same thing we have been doing to those who have been writing abusive words on people, those who have been attacking people online, in our bid to screenshot what they have said, put it on our timelines, write our opinions, we end up making their quotations or their statements very popular and to let them go far. Because imagine, if a certain Bongo Ideas puts something and it remains only on the walls of Bongo Ideas, ask yourself how many people will see it. Yes, a good number will see it, but it will still be limited. Not many people will see it. But when Yao takes a screenshot, he posts in his mind, I'm insulting Bongo ideas. Akosia blogger, he, she picks. He, she also posts, I'm insulting Bongo ideas. Then you guys are all adding up to these numbers for them to see what the gentleman has posted. That's why I wish that in Sarkodia's bid to even play, he shouldn't have even paid attention to these guys. Because sometimes, the more we think we are playing with them, the more we add up to their... <laughs> Don't let me use it. <laughs> they are tomfoolery. The more we add up to them. Because sometimes, we will not even want to associate the brand that's in the main brand with them. I'm sure recently some of these guys have even issued out warnings that they don't have any dealings with them. So nobody should deal with them. I'm sure I've heard a Kwame Eugene talk like that and maybe I can promise like that. That no. If you deal with them, you deal with them at your own risk. We don't have any dealings with them. They are doing their thing. We don't even know them. We've not given them any endorsement or validation from anywhere. But if they get some of these hype mentions from some credible people like Sarkodie, who has great numbers online, then they are even going to, hallelujah. They are going to be singing hallelujah. I'm sure by now, if they had seen the tweet, they'll be jubilating. I'm sure they are jubilating because who posted them? It is Sarkodie, not just any ordinary person. So it is by which that we let these guys be. They should learn to also get something to do with their hands. They should learn to be themselves. They should learn to always look for something that they can do to accomplish things on their own. They shouldn't be leaving the shadows of some people. For how long? We know those who have tried that in this country or in this industry. Nobody ever succeeded more than the original because who goes for the fake when there is original? Nobody ever succeeded and nobody can succeed with that. Even when the original is still not there, you will still struggle to overtake it. We know the story of D.L. Jr. and his painful death when he was doing everything possible to be like a daddy Lumba. We know how it ended. So it is our prayer that these guys... We have a way of limiting their scope. And it, it includes not posting, not publishing them. When we do that, they will stay in the dungeons where they are. It is my simple wish for today in the editorial here on Sammy Flex TV. I want to say thanks to Digital Rasta, call him Currency, who is on camera, and to Richie Flex, editor director of the show. My name is Sammy Flex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.